Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Kevin from Audio Digital, and I'm here with a knockdown drag out battle between two heavyweight scents. On the right corner here, we have the upstart, the new guy, the powerhouse, Falcon. And on the left corner here, we have the wave scanning champion of the world, Serum. Which one is better? Both of these guys can do wave scanning, wave table type synthesis, but which one can do it better? Well, let's check it out. First, let's look at sound quality. Uh, so I got a somewhat similar waveform loaded up on both of these guys. Let's listen to Serum here first. <laughs> Now let's try Falcon. Now both of those um, are doing wavetable. That's kind of similar, but the waveforms are different. So you can't get the exact comparison, but they both sound smooth to me. They both seem to be high quality. Let's listen to them both in a higher register. Again, they both sound smooth and I don't hear aliasing and other artifacts. So, and I've listened to these a lot more and um, they both sound great. I can't really find a clear winner as far as that goes. So they both get 100 points for their sound quality. How about for the table selection, the selection of wave tables that we get? Over here in Falcon, we have a wide variety of single cycle and multi-cycle waveforms. They're all pretty nice, interesting. Let's try this elephant guy over here. Switch sense. I don't know why that's called elephant, but it's nice. Fat duck, again. Don't know why, but it's cool. So again, a really nice wide selection. Very, uh, pleasing to the ear and somewhat disturbing. Let's go over here to, to Serum. There's a, a wide variety of analog type sounds. Switch it over. One thing I also notice is that it takes longer to load over here on the serum side of things, but it has some sounds like this guy right here I really like. Very kind of cool, authentic sounding bottle blow type sound. So both have a good selection. I think I like the selection over here and serum a little bit better. Um, they're, they're both really good though. So it's really close as far as that goes. But I, I do like some of these here. It seems like maybe they're a little bit more curated and maybe a little bit more, uh, relevant, but only a little bit. But how about on the other side of that, importing in new sounds? Which one's going to win there? Well, over here in Falcon Land, you can import a picture, which um, I don't. Im I haven't tried it, but I don't imagine it's going to sound very good unless we are specifically making a picture for that purpose, which doesn't sound hugely user-friendly. And then we can also import a sound in, but we need to make sure that it is pretty much the same pitch throughout and that we know how many slices to tell it to make. And we have to put the number of slices in the name of the file and da da da. So not friendly at all. Over here in Serum, we can drag and drop files into Serum and uh, we have a, a, a list of different ways that Serum will interpret that data and uh, chop it up and now this isn't a sampler or anything like that you're not going to be able to you know make realistic type sounds but you will be able to 
pretty easily make pretty cool sounds and experiment and get some decent results. And then you also have this editor that allows you to come in and pretty much do whatever you want. You can draw in new sounds here. You can uh, use this spectrum up here to, to make things based on spectral content. Uh, you can morph between sounds with a couple of different algorithms. So as far as creating new waveforms, Serum is by far way, way better than um, Falcon is there. So really no competition there. And how about phase distortion? Here we have um, pulse width modulation, a couple of different types. We have bend, we have formats, and a couple other kind of fuzzy sounding deals. When I move this knob, oh, I'm sorry, I'm the wrong sound thing in. Here we go. When I move this knob, we get a whole new dimension of uh, modulation. That sounds pretty interesting. So this is this is very welcomed. It's powerful and flexible, but it pales in comparison to what Serum offers over here. You have look at this list of uh, different ways you can bend the sound, and not only um, can you use these preset modes, but you can also kind of make your own maps as well with this remap function that allows you to use this graph here to remap things to your liking. So you got almost endless possibilities here. In addition, you can also modulate this oscillator with one of the other oscillators in both uh, frequency modulation and amplitude modulation. So that's very flexible and powerful, and that's a definite win in the phase modulation category or serum. Okay, so how about the number and variety of actual oscillators? Well, in Serum, of course, we have our two wavetable os oscillators, and when we, then we have a sub-oscillator and a noise oscillator. Whereas in Falcon, we have sampling and uh, analog and FM, drum synth and noise and organ and all kinds of crazy awesome things in addition to Wavetable. So that's got to be a huge win for Falcon. And not only that, you're not limited to the number of oscillators that you can have in one sound. And that's really a huge part of the appeal of Falcon. How about with filters? Well, with filters, I have to tell you, I'm really loving the filter over here in Serum. There, it has so many modes, and all the different modes sound pretty great. You have your normal filters, you got your multi filters, you got your comb filters, and your flange, and your phase, and then you have some weird out things over here as well, including what they call a reverb filter. That's creative. I have not heard anything like that before. Uh, it's powerful, flexible. It's great stuff. But can it really compare to the ability to add as many filters as you want over one sound? Not really. You can, you can add so many different types of filters here, and you can add multiple ones. Whereas over here in this land, you've pretty much got this one filter that's going to filter anything you plug into it the same way. Um, here you could have different oscillators with different filters on them. And not only that, you don't have to stop with filters, but you can do some kind of reverby things and you can do EQ and dynamics and you can uh, do distortion and all that kind of stuff. And it's all per note effects. So that's hugely more flexible and a huge win for Falcon. And how about those effects? We've got uh, an effects section here with uh, a number of really great sounding effects that we can turn on and off at will and rearrange however we want. 
These effects are high quality. They sound really good. And they add a lot to the sound. Over here on Falcon Land though, we have a more comprehensive list of different effects that also sound super awesome. And we can arrange them however we want, have as many instances of whatever we want. And we can also do parallel effects processing, which has to be a win for Falcon. How about CPU efficiency? Well, let's test it out here. Let's turn off this filter, which is uh, very naughty on the CPU. Let me call up that uh, same algorithm I was using before. Let's crank up the number of oscillators here to eight, and let's do something similar over here. I'm gonna crank this guy up to eight, and go back to that other form that we had before, I think that was it. And let's see how big of a hit we're gonna take by opening up this chart here. So I'm gonna hit four keys, starting with Falcon. So that gives us an idea. Now let's do Serum. So for the same sort of um, sound we're dealing with, let me turn these off too, just to make sure we're getting a clear reading here. Yeah, it looks like um, Falcon is, I don't know, maybe about 40% or something more efficient. Uh, but it's definitely taking up less CPU for a very similar thing that it's doing. So it looks like Falcon wins the CPU hunger, but these are both extremely hungry synths. So you're going to want to have some beef to your CPU for either one of these guys. Um, how about ease of use? Well, that's pretty easy to see. Serum is really a slam dunk and ease of use. You have this drag and drop functionality for routing. You can uh, just put it anywhere you want and it just works. Um, this LFO is really easy to use and to reshape and you can call up different shapes pretty easily here. And the envelopes, again, are also quite easy to use and to shape and to do what you want with. You can get up in here and, and do a really great sounding sound super fast. Now, Falcon is, um, just from its nature, not going to be nearly as easy to use. Although they've done a pretty good job in coming up with a logic for something that is ultimately almost completely open. But it is, uh, it's got a learning curve. So if you want something that's quick and easy and you don't have to sit down and figure out for several hours, then you probably want to go with Serum. So Serum wins there, but at the cost of flexibility and in the flexibility category, Falcon is ridiculously hands down the winner of that. So how about price? Well, Serum is, uh, I believe, 190 bucks approximately, uh, whereas Falcon is 350 bucks. So quite a difference there. But when you consider all of the synth power that you're getting with Falcon compared to what Serum can do, it's um, at least somewhat justified. So at the end of the day, which one of these guys is better? Well, it's a little bit uh, unfair to compare them because they are trying to do, uh, a lot of things are different, although they are trying to do some things that are the same. How I evaluate this is um, if I own Falcon, which I do, and I don't own Serum, which I, I don't own Serum, it's a hard sell for me to pay 190 bucks to do something that Falcon can mostly do. Um, there are a lot of things that uh, Serum does easier 
and it has more capabilities as far as making your own uh, wave tables. Um, but it's it's a hard sell just for that stuff to get me to drop the money for Serum. Whereas if I had Serum and I saw Falcon, I would be kind of tempted to maybe try to get that into my arsenal one way or another. Uh, so within that context, I guess you'd have to say uh, Falcon wins. But uh, they're both great. And, uh, you know, maybe if uh, Serum was... Uh, cheaper if they had some sell like half off i might be pretty tempted to get it because it is still the wave scanning wave table king of the world so anyway that's it guys thank you so much for watching this um please uh, if you want to see some more content like this go ahead and subscribe i'm going to do some more comparisons probably against falcon and um also Please enjoy being creative. Thanks.